The earth itself is seething around Knutur Rap Auermann's greenhouses. Geothermal heat fuels hot springs just a few steps away. For a fee, Icelandic farmers can tap into this volcanic island's natural energy resources. We are getting out of this place about 68 liters per second of uh, 90 degrees hot water for the greenhouses, for the, for the houses, for the summer houses, uh, uh, farms here around. A network of pipes carry the hot water through Knutur's greenhouses, maintaining a constant mild temperature for his tomatoes. The tomato farmer also draws upon natural sources to irrigate the plants. What kind of water we are giving to the plant is a key thing, because tomatoes are 92% water. So I believe you need to give the plant a good quality of water to get a good quality of tomatoes. And in Iceland we have really much good quality cold water coming from our mountains, so I can water my plant with the same good water that we are drinking in our houses. Knutur is quite proud of his ecological greenhouse. He even gets the power for the grow lights from renewable energy sources. More and more international guests are coming to look around his greenhouse and learn from his presentations how the Icelanders utilize their energy resources. And they can sample the produce in the farm's own restaurant, surrounded by the tomato plants. His neighbor, just a few hundred meters farther on, grows strawberries. Geothermal heat can be harnessed to create optimal conditions for them to grow year-round. Homfri Thurgh Gerstodier's operation too is all natural. We are not uh, spraying the plants at all, no chemicals. We are using uh, like a, a bio defenders on the plants to take care if there will be some pests. Fresh fruit and vegetables on an island with long, cold, dark winters comes at a cost. But the strawberry farmers hoping that in future, even more will be grown in Iceland's greenhouses. There are not all people willing to buy Icelandic ones because they are more expensive. But we are always talking about their health and, and uh, how good the Icelandic strawberries and vegetables are. The imported produce in the stores is still cheaper. If not for the relatively low-cost geothermal energy, fruit and vegetable farming here would not be profitable. Icelanders have long known the value of their hot springs and geysers, but they didn't always know what to do with them. Uh, people didn't like it much because it was just like open. The, the animals could o go into it and uh, died, so it was not a good, <laughs> good place. Mm -hmm. But then around 1925 or 6, the farmers tried to decide to catch the water. And that's why they built uh, 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 concrete over it and, and that's, why, that's how, they can, how, can, how they can use the water. Are you ready? Even if Iceland's geothermal energy seems inexpensive and inexhaustible, experts warn against taking too much hot water from the springs. They're fed mainly by groundwater, and it could take decades to fill up again.